and welcome to the Handed Down Kitchen, where we bring recipes out of the pages of antique cookbooks back into the kitchen. And the recipe we'll be sharing with you today is for one of our absolute favourites, Viennese biscuits. Today we're going to show you the original recipe from the 14th edition of Hamlin's The Best of Cooking, which was published in 1987. For this recipe, you're going to need 150 grams of unsalted butter, 100 grams of icing sugar, 50 grams of corn flour, 4 tablespoonfuls of milk, a pinch of salt, the grated rind of half a lemon, 225 grams of plain flour, and 175 grams of plain chocolate. Start by creaming together the butter with your icing sugar and the corn flour until light and fluffy. It helps a lot if your butter is at room temperature or has been softened before you do this. Ours was cold and as you can see here it makes it a lot harder to mix in, but you do get there in the end. Next, add in the milk, the salt and the lemon rind and beat these together until fully combined. Then add the flour to the bowl and mix together thoroughly. At this stage you can add more milk if you're finding the mixture to be particularly stiff and you think it's going to be too difficult to pipe, but try to keep this as little as possible so that your biscuits keep their shape in the oven and have a nice crunch to them. Then using a piping bag fitted with a large star nozzle, pipe your biscuits into rounds or other shapes such as S's and straight lines. Then bake at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit or gas mark 4, for 10 to 12 minutes or until your biscuits are lightly browned. Once these are done, transfer your biscuits onto a wire tray until they've cooled down completely. Once 
once your biscuits have cooled down, they're ready to decorate. So melt your chocolate gently in a double saucepan or a heatproof bowl over boiling water. Then dip your biscuits into the chocolate so that they're half coated and then place these onto a sheet of greaseproof paper until they're dry. At this stage you can sprinkle some hundreds and thousands or freeze dried raspberry pieces or any other sorts of colourful decoration over the chocolate while it's still warm for a bit of colour. And there they are. Like I said, this 1980s recipe is very versatile, you can add different flavours, and you can pipe the biscuits into whatever shape you like. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave us a like, and if you're interested in seeing us recreate more antique recipes, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and click the bell button so that you'll be notified each time we have a new, old recipe ready for you to see and enjoy for yourself.